Yo, yo, yo. It's D Arthur in the building. I'm talking to you guys today about how semen retention turns you into a man who attracts a woman plentifully. When you're on when you're on semen retention, you really you've decided that <clears throat> you've once you you leveled up your life and once you once you level up your life your your pheromones your 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 choosing signals the the pheromones are the things that communicate to the other sex that you're a viable option they're gonna be they're gonna be over nine thousand they're gonna be very abundant on your body little little pheromones indicators that says you're a good sexual option you're a good mate because what tends to happen is when you're when you've when you made the conscious decision to retain your nut what's going to happen is that since man was put on uh this earth to bear fruit and multiply plan to procreate and since it seems that you've retained, you're definitely not gonna you're you're definitely not gonna be um you're 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 just gonna be a lot more attractive because the thing that happens and the problem the problem with the relapsing is you're tricking your brain to think that you're getting some from somebody else uh from from you're actually getting some so that tells the brain that this man doesn't have uh there there's no um. There, there's no changes that need to be made uh, b by him because it looks like he's already getting some. And that's basically a trick. You're tricking your brain to think that you're getting some. But if you if you decide to retain and you only ejaculate if it's with a, an actual another person, you only decide to that's when you're that's when you plan to uh to ejaculate then that means that since you've since you're waiting and you're retaining your brain has no option but to make you more attractive the brain does that make sense that your brain has no option to make you more attractive meaning if you ever had like problem with like acne or maybe your voice is a little bit nasally or you you just don't you just don't look as you just don't look fit you just don't look as toned as you could be or maybe you're even balding or maybe you're you, you have oily skin or you're just not as masculine as you can be what tends to happen when you've made the conscious decision to retain your you were to retain what's going to happen is your brain is going to go on fixed mode it's going to it's going to send signals your body's going to send signals to your brain that says this man isn't really getting any. Let's try to help him out so he can attract a mate. And what's going to happen is if you've, let's say, struggled with, let's say, acne, your skin will tend to clear up. Your eyes will tend to become whiter. Um, your voice, your tone of voice might be um, deeper. You have more a deeper base, base to your voice. If you if you're retaining and you go to the gym, you're definitely going to notice your 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 uh, sets increase. You're going to notice you're stronger. Um, if you want to have facial hair, you'll tend to have more facial hair. If you're, if you've been retaining and you've been like, say hitting the gym, you'll just become a more masculine man. And once you become, let's say more masculine, more masculine, women are going to pick up on this e immediately. And it's going to be easier for you to, let's say, attract, attract the mate. So when you retain it really does yourself a favor like if you if you constantly ejaculate you constantly bust and you're really not okay with your life yet then you're really doing yourself a disservice because you're basically going to you're basically going to tell your brain that you're staying the same like you're okay with how your life is just right now but if you made the conscious decision to retain then you're you're going to have more you're, you're just going to be a lot more you're going to live in a more significant life meaning everything that you do is going to be let's say a little bit more purposeful 
Uh, when you hit the gym, you're gonna you're gonna come in with a plan. You're gonna do it, and then you're gonna leave with steam. With steam, you're gonna be. You're gonna anticipate life instead of dragging through life. You're gonna anticipate. You're gonna be more purposeful with everything you do. You're gonna start setting goals for yourself. You're gonna want. You're gonna have a bigger appetite for a bigger income. You're gonna just. You're gonna try to develop assets. You're gonna try to de develop charisma. You're just gonna try to do everything in your power to make yourself and your life a little bit better. A little bit more livable and then once you've reached that point where your your life really does seem like it's 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 improved tenfold it has significant improvement from where you began then that's when let's say the choosing signals and the options would say women will start delivering the the world will start seeing your progress and then they will start matching higher quality women to just start naturally appearing in your life depending on what you're giving out so if you want to attract let's say higher quality woman and maybe you want to attract let's say a mate or partner or someone just make sure that you're you, like you retain and you're just consistently doing progressive things to make your life better and then eventually your your life will your your let's say your partner will mirror uh, your life a lot of guys go on a long like 80 days plus on semen or attention and they're still having problems with attracting women and if that's the case then you're probably not doing any other any other things because like if you retain if you've ret retained that's not the end all be off you have to do other things too you have to hit the gym you have to meditate you have to get your finances in order you have to make sure you look attractive you have to have some sort of status that you're working on you can't live through other people you have to make sure that you're unique from everybody else because there's a lot of people who are the same. If you really want to stand out and you really want to attract the best quality, like mate and everything, you really kind of have to stand out and do something different from the rest of the crowd. This is what gets women's sensors off. If it looks like you're on your purpose, you're doing something, you're you're not wasting time, they're going to look at you as different because a lot of guys like to do things for other people. They like to, hey, look at me, I've done this. Look at me, I've done this. Look at me, I've done this. And like to, let's say, brag to other people. But the man who actually does this because they want to do it and if there's a core reason why they're doing it, they're going to be the best option. Because if you're doing it for, let's say, your other bros, you're going to look at as very laughable because you're not really doing it for yourself. You're doing it for other people's validation. And that's the, if you're doing it for another man's validation, let's say you're trying to get money and show off to, let's say, another man or you're trying to make gains in the gym to show off to like, let's say you're ma another man or a friend. That's just a very beta male type of way uh, to operate. You have to do things for yourself. And once you're doing it for yourself consistently, the right type of person will just start appearing in your life. This is basically how things happen. This is how things start. Um, but yeah, semen retention helps you get to that point because if you re if you consistently relapse, consistently think you're getting some when you're not really getting some, you're never going to get anywhere. You're gonna have a your life is gonna be that of a revolving door. It's gonna be revolving. Like your life is just gonna continually continually be the same, even one month, two months, three months, six months, a year, two years, three years from now. But if you're progressively getting a little bit better every single day and you're stacking bricks on bricks on bricks um eventually what it will happen is you'll you create a, a monsoon a snowstorm a, a hurricane of greatness and then you'll leave that greatness and then someone will pick up on your greatness and they will want to be a part of it you you're the thing is you're trying to build a life that somebody can get into but it takes a lot of discipline and hard work and uh just making sure that you're on what you have to do uh, consistently to get to attract the type of person that you really want to attract. So make sure that you're retaining consistently. Make sure you're becoming who you really want to be. Make sure you're taking your make sure you're doing things for yourself and not for other people. And you're listening to your intuition and what you really want. So, yeah when you retain your brain has no choice but to become more attractive to the opposite sex to opposite gender and you will become you will attract let's say who you want you will become who you really want to be all it all it takes is retention and a positive mental attitude 
and declaring that whatever that is that you want, you already have it. And now you're in a state of receiving and it's just a matter of time until other people see the fruits of your labor. But it all starts with you believing in um, yourself and you um, declaring that whatever it is that you want is already yours. And then the entire world will transform itself to, to help you acquire what you want. And your vibration and your mood will skyrocket on semen retention, making it easier for you to attract anything and everything that you really want into this in three this into this 3D world. So like, comment, and subscribe below, and we'll see you in the next one.